You know, it's funny. I like this movie a lot. This was entertaining, educational for those guys. You know, exciting. That's the and, way I see and, it. And engaging. Like I call it the four it. E's. That's my own rating uh -huh. system, the four E's. A good cool. movie has that. How much fun was this to make for you guys? I had a, I had a blast. I mean, you know, the opportunity, like the opportunity to just kind of to ad lib, to throw things out there, to try new things, to, um, to just play. I mean, Jay has these just monumentous monologues that he gets to throw out there and tell these fantastic stories, uh, these tales of love, life, and, and, and uh, turmoil. And it was, it was a blast for me, you know, to really, to see it, to live it, to, to experience it, and to work off of Skylar and Camilla and Alexis. It was just, I had a blast. And, you know, he, he allowed us to, you know, take the reins and, and run with things, thank God. When you yeah. were writing, sure. talk about that. Where did this come from? It came from, um, I actually, I'm a big fan of writing what you know, and this actually was based somewhat on my own life experience. When I was, uh, living, when I was living in New York, I was in film school, and I was living with three guys in this windowless warehouse um, where, you know, there wasn't a lot of privacy. And so I thought that would be sort of the, the beginnings of a really good story. And we just kind of kind of evolved out of that organically. Well, this brought back memories of college for me growing up in Connecticut. Mm. I saw the same thing. It was <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah. But a lot of truth in there. Talk mm -hmm. about shooting downtown LA and talk about what else you brought to the table when it came to this. Well, downtown LA, I think, is incredibly cinematic. And I think there have been various movies to sort of shoot it, but they've shot it more in sort of an architectural kind of way. And I was sort of more interested in in sort of bathing the movie in, in, in pools of light and, and capturing the real essence of what's going on in downtown right now. It's it's a, just a beautiful place. Um, so that for me was great. And our camera, we had this amazing camera that allowed us to, to shoot some really good low light stuff. Um, so that was one of the things I actually was looking forward to most in making the movie, shooting down there. It's a great, great part of town. Mm. Yeah, it was great. I think, you know, for me, I think it was just about bringing ideas to the table really getting into Jay and discovering who he was and, and why he thought the way he did, uh, I came to the conclusion that Jay just hasn't met the right woman. Jay just hasn't met that woman that just makes his head spin. He hasn't met that woman that he's fallen in love with. And so if you've never experienced that, if you've never had that, then you can't understand it. And so I feel like if there was a future story, you'd find out that Jay would find love and that he'd conform and he'd change his life and he'd you know, clean his act up, but he just isn't there yet. And so a lot of that for me was just really going through what was already on the page mm -hmm. and coming up with ideas, coming up with things to throw out there, things to play with, you know, just little quirky ideas. And I, th I felt like it really paid off. Talk about why Caveman, you chose that title, and talk about what you hope women get out of seeing this movie. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it's called Caveman because the actual place where they're living, uh, is we, we actually called in real life the cave. It was this really sort of dark, dank place. Actually, when we moved out of the cave, like a couple of years after living there, I liked to, there were little bugs that were flying around. <laughs> it was like, how did bugs, how are they living in this space? And, and you know, it really was very much a cave, so I felt like it was the right title for the movie. And really what I hope women get at, you know, I hope women, you know, get some insight into the way men think, you know, and that, you know, there are a lot of romantics out there. <laughs> You also write to talk about your love of writing. No, oh, it's just it's just such a massive passion of mine. I uh, I'm currently working on another novel uh, called American Drifter that'll be out later this year, and um, you know it's just something that it gives you the ability to be fully creative with with no borders, no boundaries. You know you can you can do what you want to do. You can create. You can be imaginative. You can you know, decide to be poetic one day or intellectual the next or, you know, write a children's story and just be goofy and, and carefree. And there's just something about it that I've always done. And uh, not until, you know, maybe a little while back, you know, my friends would read it and they'd go, this is good, you should do something with this. And, and I think having that support group and that support system helped me move forward with it. I mean, I wrote an episode of One Tree Hill back in season six, and I wanted to do like a Casablanca theme, you know, mm -hmm. black and white, cool. You know, we didn't end up going with all the things that I wanted to do, because we had, still had to keep it One Tree Hill, we had to keep it to the show. But it was just nice to have the opportunity to, 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 to learn about behind the scenes and the you know, WGA and, and, and everything else. And 
Yeah, it's just a passion of mine. It's something that I think will always be a, a massive aspect of my life. Why should people turn in to see Caveman? Why? You know, it's it's a great date movie. Um, it's good for both guys and girls. Um, and you know, I like. I think we got a really great kiss in the end. <laughs> just a, it's a zinger. So you know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a great kiss, and, and this movie's got that definitely, and a lot of laughs. Thank you guys. Thanks. Hey, cheers, brother.